Story of the Circus. For Jerry of the Circus. Mr. Kelly. Yeah? Well, hello there, Jerry. Where do you get that Mr. business, huh? Well, I... Playing safe, huh? Listen, that's all right for Mr. Randall, but not for me. I'm chief boss in the menagerie tent, but I'm Kelly to my friends. Gee, you know, that that's one thing I like about circus folk. Not a whole lot of fuss about being polite and all that. But everyone knows who's boss and who to take their orders from. No reason why we can't all be friends. After all, I may give orders in here, but I take them from Mr. Randall. <laughs> yeah, I can give orders to Rag, but I take them from most everybody else. Well, it don't seem to hurt you much. After all, you got to learn to take orders before you can give them. Yeah, Dad used to say that. Always told me I had to learn to do things myself first. If I wanted to be sure later on they'd be done right for me. From all I've ever heard of your dad, he was a pretty smart man. And now that I'm beginning to know his son, I'm not changing my opinion none. Guess we just about got the show up today. You don't think we'd let a little thing like a condemned trestle keep us from playing a town, do you? Or floods or fires or anything else, huh? I should say not. Hey, Jeff, what's holding up things? Those wagons are lined up now. You and Slim get the slides off. Sure, boy. We'll have the towners in here in a few minutes. Funny about Major Mike missing. He's little enough to be overlooked. Yeah, but golly, he can make enough commotion for someone twice his size if he wants attention. (laughs) I can see you're wise to that little guy. I like him even if he is kind of, well... Feisty. Yeah, that's a good word for it. Hey, hey, what's going on over there? I was just wondering about that myself. Looks like Agus cave. Yeah, it's hers all right. Hey, listen to her chatter. Come on, Jerry, we'll find out. Looks like the show's in the cage next to Agus. So that's where it was hiding out. What is it, boys? Make way so I can see what's going on here. It's the missing midget, Kelly. The major? What are you talking about? Why, it is. Look, he's sound asleep in that cage next to Agus. Well, I'll be doggone to be. If that isn't the craziest business. Thinks he's a monkey, I'll bet. Hey, getting wise to himself, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> hey, pipe down, boys. Get back to your work. Okay, hey, Major. Listen to him snore. That's probably why he didn't hear all those cracks the men were making. Major! Major Mike! But how did he ever happen to get in there? Golly, everybody was sure looking for him. Major! Hmm? Yes, what? Hey there, wake up. The show's going on in a few minutes. Say, Slim, run tell Randall we found the Major. Oh, I'm already on my way, boy. Hey, Major, you're late. The side show's been on for half an hour. What's that you're saying? Where am I? What is this? I don't know, Major. You're more likely to know who you how you got there than I am. Oh, you let me out. Let me out this minute, I say. Say, stop pushing those bars. You can't get out that way. Try the door. Golly, you're mad. Well, it's his funeral. He has no business being in there in the first place. Let me out. Open this door this minute. I'll have the law on you, Kelly. I'll, hey, I'll... Jeff, open the door for the major. Okay, Kelly. This is locked on the outside. Oh, I'll say it's locked on the outside. Just you wait, Kelly, until I get to Randall. I'll tell him how one of your men... Just a minute, Jeff. I've changed my mind. Leave that door bolted. Gee whiz. You're going to leave him locked in that cage? I'm not going to let him out if he won't behave himself. 
Wait till I get under this rope. There. Listen, if you think you're going to make a monkey out of me just because I'm little and can't protect myself... Now, I'll... you listen to me, Major. I'll take this to every court in the country. I'll take it to... Just Supreme a court minute, court. Major. If you want to get out of there, you just keep quiet a minute. I don't know how you got in there, but you have no business in my monkey cages. If there's any complaining to do, I'm going to do it. Well, I never... Now, what are you doing in that cage? Well, I... I was up early this morning. I couldn't sleep with all the worry going on over that trestle and all. Yes, I know. So I, I got out of the train, and then when they backed up, I couldn't reach up to the step in time, and there wasn't anybody to help me, and I... Got lost, huh? I guess so. Then I saw some men moving the wagons and things, and it was still kind of dark, and I asked them to help me, and, well, well, they... Well, out with it, Major. What happened? I guess I don't quite know. But anyhow, they left and began to give me, and I was so worried and upset, and I guess I got kind of sore, and I... Well, I don't know as I blame you. Who were these men? I never saw them before, I'm sure. I probably said some pretty harsh things. Uh, no on you, I can imagine. Anyhow, the next thing I knew, one of the men picked me up, and, and then some more men came around. You and... didn't recognize any of them? No, it was dark, and I began to call for you and Mr. Randall, and I told those men off plenty. I tried to fight them, but they, they just laughed. We had to take on some extra men this morning to help with the wagons. None of my regular men would annoy you, I'm sure. Well, I don't know who they were, but I'd certainly like to get the law on them. Kidnap me. That's what they did, kidnap me. They didn't hurt you none, did they? No, but when I yelled and hollered, they just shut me up in here and I pounded on the door till I got tired and then finally I guess I... Fell asleep. Now listen here, Kelly. I'm not blaming you for this, but you better let me out of here good and quick or I'll do okay. something. Okay. Jeff, let him out. Okay, boss. Jiminy Crickets. Major, you, you had everybody on the lot looking all over for you. Mr. Randall got the police force out the minute we knew you were missing. You don't say. Hmm, I guess Mr. Randall realizes who's important to his show. Yes, sir. And the bearded lady was carrying on something awful. Oh, she was, was she? Just like a woman. Never around when she can be of any use, but always fretting and fussing when there's nothing to be done. There you are, Major. Now you can get out. Oh, thank you, Kelly. And believe me when I say I'm mighty sorry this happened. I'll check and see if any of my men know anything about this. I certainly wish you would. It's a sad world when big bullies have to pick on smaller people for their jokes. I hope you don't think I knew. Oh, no, no, of course not. I guess I was kind of testy when I first woke up, the surprise and all, but... Oh, my, but I'm stiff. I can't say as I like sleeping on straw so much. Gee, they sure must have missed you in the sideshow. Missed? What do you mean? What time is it? Now, where is my watch? It's time for the folks to come into the menagerie now. They've just opened the gate. Oh, I'm late. Why didn't you tell me? We tried to at first, Major, but you were so... Oh, they can't put on a sideshow without me. Why is that cheating the public? If you hurry, you might get in for the last part of it. Of course, that's just what I'm doing. Hurrying, of course. Well, goodbye. Goodbye, my. Golly, have you ever seen anyone get as excited as the Major? He certainly raises an awful rumpus about nothing. <laughs> I can just imagine how he must have annoyed those guys this morning. Yeah, not knowing the Major, they, they must have kidded the life out of him. Yeah, I bet he was mad in that monkey cage till he fell asleep at least. <laughs> Poor Major might. If it isn't one thing, it's another. But he's a big attraction, there's no doubt about that. Well, I, I gotta be going. Be seeing you, Kelly. Bye. Glad to see you any time, Jerry. Oh, hi, Slim. Did you tell Mr. Randall about the Major? Yep. Golly, you should have heard him laugh. I haven't seen him laugh like that in a month of Sundays. <laughs> <laughs> Hello there, Jerry. Where are you going all by yourself? Oh, hi, Patsy. Heading for the wagon to see how Rags is. Oh, I thought so. But you may as well save yourself the trip. Bumps has got him in the backyard. He hated to leave him alone. Oh, gee, I'm sorry. I, I promised to be there early. Guess I got all excited about the major. Oh, have they found it? Sure, didn't you hear? No. What? Well, I was watching them fix up the menagerie before the show opened, and, and when they took down the sides to Agnes' wagon... Yeah? Well, they found the major in the cage next to hers. No. Yeah, and he was plenty sore when he woke up. You mean he was asleep? Snoring like a trumpet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jerry, that's a riot. <laughs> I don't know when I've ever heard of anything so funny. 
Ray. Hi, Ray. How's Frick, huh? He worse fun. Oh, so he left you here, huh? Guess he knew I'd find you all right. Okay, Wag. We'll sit right here and watch the grand entry lineup, won't we? Oh, say, Patsy, I, I meant to ask you. What, Jerry? You know that letter you wrote to the lock company? Yes. Well, haven't they answered you yet? Oh, no, it's, it's too soon. We'd hardly have time to get it here, even by airmail. Oh, gee, I, I sure wish that letter would hurry up and get here. Oh, I know how you must want to know if they can trace that box belonging to your dad. Yeah, I do. It, it's not just curiosity, either. I, I don't know. Sort of seems like hearing from Dad. Mm-hmm. Just knowing there's something of his somewhere in a bank and belonging to me now that Dad's gone. Well, we might hear in the next town. Well, I, I sure hope so. Funny Dad never talked about that box. Say, Jerry... You don't know of any property or anything he might own? Uh-uh. You see, before I was born, Dad was always traveling with the circus. Then when he married Mom's, they, they both traveled till she got so sick. So you never had a home or anything? No. Nah. After I was born, we, we rented a little place, and then when Mom's died, Dad and I took to roaming around from one job to another. And you don't know of any other relatives? Except an Uncle Dan, of course. Oh, yes, of course. How is he? Have you heard from him lately? Yeah, I thought I told you. He's doing fine. Ought to be well enough to troop before long. That's fine. Well, looks as if it's about time for the parade to start. Golly, I love the grand entry. Full of costumes and animals and spangles and clowns. Uh-huh. I never get tired of it either. Oh, I kind of wish I still went around in it. Of course, now you're a star performer. You, you can't do it anymore. <laughs> oh, if it weren't that I haven't a costume for it, I'd often sneak in and go around just for the fun of it. I'd like to do that someday. Listen now, Jerry. I'm not putting ideas in your head, I hope. No, I was just thinking. Well, you keep your mind on taking care of rags and the horses. You'll have plenty to do. And thinking about that letter that's coming pretty soon. Because, of course, when we know what bank Dad's box is in, that'll give me something special to see about. Well, you just be patient till we hit our next stand. No, I've got a hunch we might hear by then. <laughs> 